In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get KSign on your iOS device without computer or revokes, allowing you to download any IP file that you guys want to download effortlessly. This works for any iOS version, including the latest one, and the process for this is very simple. It's very similar to a video I made a while back, however, this is just an updated method for that and with a new certificate that is guaranteed to work. So the first thing you guys have to do is just go to the developer's official website. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And what we first have to do is continue scrolling down until you see install DNS profile. Click on the download icon here. And then you'll see a pop-up saying this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Click allow. And then now you just have to go into the settings app. And then in the settings app, you're just gonna have to click on profile downloaded. And then it'll say this install profile, click install and then put your passcode in and then just click on install and install. Now you can just go back to your home screen and you should see the bookmark here that says the developer's name. And this bookmark is essentially the exact same as the website. So you can choose if you guys want to click on the bookmark and download case sign from there or the website. For this video, I'll just be using the website. And then on the website, you're just going to scroll down until you see KSign Bypass Revoke. And then from here, you have to click on any one of these certificates. So the two certificates that I know are working so far are BMW Brilliance Automotive and Vietnam Joint Stock Commercial Bank for Industry and Trade. If you guys want to know every single certificate that works, then make sure you guys hit the notification bell as I'll be making a video soon on every single working case sign certificate so that if one of them doesn't work, then you guys can just use one of the other working ones. Anyways, I've already tested BMW Brilliance, so you can just download that here and then just click on install here and then just click on install. So now you guys can go back onto your home screen and just give it a moment because it should take some time to download. And then as you guys can see, KSign did in fact download. However, if you click on KSign, it'll say untrusted enterprise developers. So you're gonna have to go back into settings and then in settings, you're just gonna click on general and then VPN and device management, and then just click on the BMW uh brilliance automotive and then you're just gonna have to trust however if you trust then you will have to restart your device and so i'm gonna do that real quick i'll be right back and now once you guys have restarted you guys can open up ksign and the first time it may crash or it may not crash it depends so for me it didn't crash and so now you guys have ksign on your phone however we can't use ksign just yet as we haven't imported any of our certificates so what we need to do is go back to the developer's website and once you're back in the developer's website all you have to do is just click on download certificate here and then just click on download here and so now if you guys just search up files and then in files you're gonna need to essentially just locate the zip file that you just downloaded so for me it was in my downloads so what you have to do now is just extract the zip file here and you can do that just by tapping on the zip file here and uh, as you guys can see i do have like seven different files because i've done this so many times trying with every single certificate and so that's why i have so many you guys will not have these many you'll only have one and you'll see the folder pop up right next to it so just click on that folder and now it's broken down into eSignCer and KSignCer. So if you guys want to know how to get eSign, the newest certificate working for eSign, then I'll leave the video in the top right. But for this video, since we're doing KSign, we're going to click on KSign here. And we just have to make sure that our certificate that we downloaded KSign with is here. So since we downloaded with BMW Brilliance Automotive, you guys can see it is over here. You can see the name and everything. So this is the certificate that we're going to need to import. So what we have to do is go into KSign and then go into settings and then click on certificates. Click on the little plus icon at the top. You're going to need to import the KSign file here. So click on import KSign file and it should automatically lead you to the page where all the certificates are but if not then you're just gonna have to locate it but for me it's already here so since i use bmw brilliance automotive not any of the v1 v2 ones i can just click on that here and now as you guys can see i've successfully imported the certificate and it says 160 days 
And so now all we need to do essentially is just go onto a library here, click on plus and then click on import from files. And now you guys can just look for the IPA file. So for this video, I'm going to be using old OS. If you guys want to know how you guys can get iOS 4 on your device with this and how to get the IPA, then you guys can watch the video in the top right. I'll leave it there and in the description, but you're going to click on the IPA here, click on open. Or you guys can even add it here, but you guys, what I would recommend is to just put it in library and then you're just going to click on the old OS here and then just click on sign and install and then just click on start signing. You'll see this package manager here and then just click on install. And as you guys can see, old OS did in fact install. Now you can open old OS just like you would with any other app and it should load everything's perfectly fine you can slide it on lock you can use the app exactly like how it's intended to anyways i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe make sure you guys hit the notification bell for more videos like this and thanks for watching